I stand alone in my room, getting ready for the day. I walk over to my dresser. An array of masks are laid out in front of me. Various shapes, sizes, colors, emotions, while others are blank. I take my medication. Today, this axe is my mask. I choose the mask that shows no emotions, a blank stare. Although this mask shows, shows nothing, it holds so much more. I place the mask on my face. I feel concealed, like a new person, shielded from the outside world. I can be who I want, no emotions to judge me, only the blank stare of my mask. I do not show my feelings. I walk along throughout the day with no one knowing that I struggle with ADHD and anxiety. The medication is designed to act as a disguise so no one will recognize my struggles. My mask doesn't define me. It doesn't characterize who I am or how I feel, merely covering what I want to hide from the world. It does not fix who I am, but obscures me from reality. Like a mask, medications hide what we feel. Medications don't fix, they conceal. Today is the day. I wake up, get dressed, brush my teeth, eat breakfast, like I would do any other day. My mom drives me to school and nothing is said between us. All we do is exchange fake grins and a simple good morning. I step out of the car into the cold, hard pavement as the brisk air hits my lips. I walk from class to class seeing all my friends. I hear everyone talking about different social events that happened over the weekend. My mom picks me up in her silver Honda Civic. I sit down on the warm, fuzzy seats. I put on my seatbelt and hear the click of being safe in the car. I do not go home. I'm going somewhere else. We drive for about 30 minutes. I hear the zipping cars go by and smell the air conditioning. I arrive at the center for developing minds. The walls are menacing, but the room is inviting. I sit down on the rolling chair, which smells like a doctor's office. I greet the doctor with a warm handshake, but I can feel his cold hands gripping mine. The cold walls of the room confine me. I feel them closing around me. He asks me about my day and what I've been experiencing. I go through many tests. Some test my memory, while others test my writing ability. Once the tests are over, I go home. The routine of my everyday life continues. I wake up, go to school, go to practice, come home, do homework, and then fall asleep. This pattern remains unchanged for about a week without any new from my test results. Finally, I go back to the center to go over my results. The doctor tells me I have anxiety and ADHD. I was given some medications to help fix these problems. The first day I took them, I felt kind of funny. My heart raced uncontrollably. I didn't want to eat, and I couldn't feel any emotions, let alone control them. Gone were the feelings of anxiety and worry. For the first time, I could focus in class, but with wearing a new mask of medication came a price. Weeks pass, my heart continues to race. I am required to wear a monitor because the doctor thinks something is wrong with my heart. I wear two stickers on my chest, both cold and sticky to the touch. Wires connect the two with a white flashing box I wear around my neck as if it's a necklace. The cold white box touching my skin of my stomach gives me the chills. It beeps me every time it is recording. The flashing light can be seen underneath my clothes. I have to wear it everywhere I go, whether it is volleyball, school, or just at home. After weeks of wearing the monitor, I go back to the doctor. He takes me off the medications because, it ha because of the effects it had on my heart. I take off my mask. Suddenly, I can feel again. I don't feel numb anymore. I have learned that I cannot rely on medications to fix everything in my life. These medications merely mask my symptoms. With my mask removed, I can now confront challenges head on. I have learned how to use strategies beyond medication, many of which derive from Eastern medicine, including mindfulness, neurofeedback, exercise, and herbal supplements. None of these strategies mask my emotions. They provide me with tools to overcome my learning challenges. Of these strategies, mindfulness is particular in particular helps me capture the essence of myself without creating an illusion of a mask. Simple breathing techniques help me find a quiet place to calm my anxiety and focus my attention. With these new tools, I feel empowered to shatter my former masks and expose myself for who I really am. I feel confident that I can overcome any challenge that I face in life. I have shattered my former mask. Medication no longer acts as a concealer.